Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix path of exile. Crucible is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing and stuttering. Low FPS drop. Stuck on loading screen. And even black screen. And how we can fix this app. So let's dive into this. So let's move to the workaround. The first one is all about a simple step which you have to try is we need to restart your PC and that is what you have to do. For restarting the PC, we just need to go over here, which is just a simple step. It is actually a basic step which you need to try. Go over here, click on this one, go for a restart and after restart, try to play the game. For some users, a simple restart did fix it. So I'm recommending you as a simple step, you can try this out like a start, st start up. So do this and once after that, if it's not working, let's move to the next step. That is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file, which is an important step. For that, we need to go to the game, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is over here, as you can see, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So uh, some some of you guys might be having any files corrupted or if any files are missing these both issues can severely ending up in crashing and all these issues which i mentioned in the title so we need to verify integrity of game file so this will cross check all the files of the game and make sure they're not corrupted as well as they're not missing that is what you have to do so this is going to take a little bit of time so this has to be reached 100 percentage once after that try to launch the game and that did work out for many users as well Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. This did work out for many users as well. Right now, as you can see, we are launching the game from the Steam. So instead of launching the game from the Steam, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So there comes the next question, how to navigate to the installation folder. Some of you guys even don't know still. So I'll be showing you there is two methods. The one is we have a shortcut from the Steam itself. Another one, we need to navigate to via file explorer. So I'll show you the first one that is how to navigate to the installation folder using file explorer. First, we need to go to this PC, open local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we need to go to the game. Okay. So uh, we need to go to path of exile. Now from here, as you can see, this is the application. So just open this. This is what you have to do. So now launch the game from here. This did work out for many users as well. So just launch the game from the installation folder. So we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder because down the road, we have many steps where we need to know this. So that is why I shown you or detailed you explain in this. So apart from this, we have a shortcut from the Steam itself. Like I said, for that, we need to click over here, right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. Now, very easily, we, we are redirected to the installation folder. If you check at the top, this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, path of X site. So now from here, launch the game. So this is an easiest way. That means it's actually a shortcut. So try launching the game from the installation folder. Next step is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. So hence, we are in the installation folder. Let me... Uh, do it from here itself. So just move same what I shown in the video. And once you land on the installation folder, now select the application, right click and go to properties. Now go to compatibility. Now click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK and launch the game. This is what you have to do. For many users, when they run in the administration, I mean, when they run the game as an administrator, this did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. So that is what you have to do. Next step is all about, we need to run the game in compatibility mode. This did work out for few users. For that, I'll be showing you that from here itself. Just go to the installation folder. Once after that, select the application, right click and go to show more option. Go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, go to uh, over here, compatibility mode. Select run this program in compatibility mode. Select Windows 7. Now go for Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK and launch the game. If this is not working, right click and go to show more options, go to properties once again, go to compatibility. Now change this to Windows 8. Now from here, go to apply and OK and try to launch the game. Try with Windows 7 or Windows 8, any one of might be working out. If this is not working, I mean, both the steps are not working, then I request 
you can change before proceeding to the next step uncheck this one this is an important one uncheck this one keep this as the same and this program administration can be kept this should be unchecked and go for apply and go for okay and go to next step so next step is all about we need to change the language of windows if it is being set into any native language that is the first one make sure the date and time region is correct for that let's move to the next one that is we have to go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to time and language go to language and region over here if you are already using any native language like arabic japanese chinese etc change the language to english for that click on add language search for english over here change the language to english which i am using right now and once after that make sure the country is correct according to geography hence i am from india i have selected the india so you have to do the same once after that go back and go to date and time make sure the time zone is turned on this should be turned on as well as this should be turned on make sure both the things are turned on once after that close this go back and try to play the game next one is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab so when you are trying to click on the play button press alt and tab from the keyboard the moment you are clicking on the green button press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work out for many users and i don't know how but this did work out for many users as well next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the uh, over here and go to documents now from here if you find anything over here named the path of exile if you find any folder so you will be you just need to delete it and you will be losing all the progressions that is fine but you just need to delete it once after that go over, over here in the steam and try to play the game once again that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go to control panel now from here go to windows defender now from here go to allow app or feature through windows defender firewall from here we need to scroll down and navigate to path of exile so keep scrolling down and navigate to path of exile now over here as you can see path of exile is there make sure the private and public should be checked and once it is checked you need to move to the next step if this is not added here you can add it manually that is just click on allow another app go for browse go for this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here we just need to go to path of exile now from here we need to select this one go for open go for add so it is already getting error because it's already added once you added you just need to go back and try to play the game next one is all about unplug all the usb devices if anything is connected might be you might be playing the game with the controllers or your usb ports will be filled with logitech g hubs etc or might be playing the game in multiple monitors whatever it is just remove everything from the usb port and keep it clean once after that connect just uh, you know once after you launch the game successfully just connect back the controller and try to play the game that is what you have to do next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search now go for over here we need to go for uh, system configuration go for services go for hide all microsoft services go for disable or go for apply and go for okay it might ask you for a restart if this is asking for a restart just go for restart then try to play the game next one is all about we need to uh do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so for that we just need to go over here in the steam right click and go to properties under here make sure this is unchecked that means we have disabling the steam overlay this is what you have to do after disabling the steam overlay launch the game that is what you have to do after trying this it's still not working we need to move to the next one that is given the commands in the launch option so give the command dx11 first command dx11 try to launch the game if this is not working change dx11 to dx12 then try to launch the game as well if both dx11 as well as dx12 is not working remove everything from the use i mean launch option just close this and try to play the game next one is all about we need to close all the overlay as well as overclocking application which is one of the main reason for that we don't need to go over here in the start right click and we need to go to device manager sorry not device manager task manager over here if you check you will be understood there are many things running in the background there are 82 apps which are actually running in the background but actually i'm using four 
right? But there are 82 apps which is running in the background, which is causing one of the reason for crashing issue. So if you scroll down, you can see the Discord. Discord comes under the category of overlay application, which is one of the main reason for application. So if you find this one, so just go over here, go for end the task and remove the Discord from the background. Next one, if you find anything named Reward Tuner, MSA, Afterburner, etc., which comes under the category of overclocking applications that should be removed from the background as well, because overclocking application is one of the main reason for crashing as well as stuttering and freezing, even stuck on loading screen, black screen, all these kind of issue. So if you find anything over here, just remove it. And once after that, just close this, go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now from here, as you can see here, I have already added all the games. Same way we need to add this game. For that, just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local PC, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, go to Steam apps, now go to common, from here we just need to go to path of exile, now from here select this one, go for add, so right now as you can see it is added, but there is one thing, if you go to the option as you can see it is let windows decide. Change this to high performance. Now go for save. Once after that, close this, go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for view, advanced system setting, go to advanced, go for setting once again, go to advanced once again, go for change. Over here, make sure should be selecting the local disk where the game is installed and make sure this is unchecked go for custom size here we need to give the gap value for initial size maximum size so initial sizes over here if you go over here you will be able to see go to settings now from here go to system keep scrolling down and go to about now from here you can see 32 gb is the ram so based on this i need to do the calculation if you don't know how to check the ram just follow the instruction once after that you found the ram just go over here we need a calculator so we need to give the value for max initial size and maximum size. So initial sizes, multiply your RAM. So in my case, it is 32 GB. So multiply whatever your RAM into a constant value 1024 that brings you 32,768. This is the total RAM. So initial size is 1.5. So I need to multiply this value with 1.5. That brings me 49,152. So I just have to paste it. I have to go for maximum size. That is over here, 32 GB into 1024. Now multiply it with 3. That brings me 90,304. So I just have to copy this and I have to paste it as well. Now go for OK and close everything and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to update Windows. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now go to settings. Now from here, go to Windows update. Now from here, update the Windows. Once after you update the windows, make sure if you have, make sure this is up to date and once after that, try to play the game as well. That should be also working fine. Next one is all about, we need to uh, install the graphics card. I mean, we need to update the graphics card manually. For that, I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this. So this is actually for the NVIDIA users. I'll be providing for both NVIDIA as well as AMD users. So the NVIDIA users just click on the respective link that will take you to this page. Now go to drivers over here at the top. Now about that will take you to this page and give all the details like GeoForce, product type, product series, product, operating system, etc. So I'm on Windows 11. Now go for start search. Now we'll be getting the version 5.31.41, which is released on 23rd of March 2023, which is few days back. So just download this one, which is around 853.33 MB. Download and install this one. Once after that, try to play the game. Next one, if you're on the AMD, just go over here in the respective link, select every product details, go for submit. Once after you go for submit, you'll be getting the option like this, Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you're on Windows 11, download this Adrenaline version for 64-bit edition. If you're on Windows 10 and 64-bit edition, download this one. Once after that, install it, restart EPC and try to play the game. Most probably, the issue has to be fixed. Even if this is not working, we need to move to the next one that is increasing the, uh, I mean, we need to uh, go for Microsoft Visual C++. We need to download it. So I'll be providing Microsoft Visual C++ link in the description. If you go to the link, that will take you to this over here. 
from here we need to download the respective uh, processor based on this so here in my case my pc is x64 based type so i have to download this one after downloading restart your pc and try to go back to the steam once again and launch the game most probably the issue has to be fixed last and the least one is all about we need to uninstall the game and reinstall it back for that we need to go over here just right click go to manage uninstall the game once after uninstalling the game we just need to go back go to this pc over here now if you find the local disk while reinstalling it back if you find the local disk change the position of local disk to any other drive so if the local disk c is over here and you are uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back on the same drive is not going to fix change the location when you are uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back that is going to work for you and these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you are having an issue and path of exile and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye